In this video, I will examine and review the new Google Pixel 6. You have the choice of either the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro smartphones scheduled for release this October 2021. I will examine its features, camera, security package, components, connectivity, list the pros and cons, and I will render my overall rating and review. Hi, my name is Roderick and welcome to this channel, Seek Right Tech Reviews. I will be your host narrating this video. Seek Right Tech Reviews provides consumers like yourself with tech product knowledge and consumer education on future, trending, and current state-of-the-art technology. If you're looking for an unbiased examination and review of any tech item that can help you decide what to and what not to spend your money on, then this is the place for you. If you are new to the channel, then sit back and enjoy the video. I will talk again to you at the end of this video. If you are visiting us again and haven't joined the SRT community, take a moment, click the like button to help the channel reach more viewers. Click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is posted. I post new videos on Saturdays. The dimensions of the Pixel 6 are 6.31 inches long by 2.96 inches wide by 0.3 inches thick. It has an industrial box style squared corner design made with a matte aluminum finish with a black camera bump covering the entire width of the back. The IP rating is 68, meaning its dust water resistant level is up to 4.92 feet for 30 minutes. The Pixel 6 comes in three color choice selections, pink with a red top, a bluish gray with a pale yellow top, and black with a light gray top. The Pixel 6 is a 6.4 AMOLED full high definition, high dynamic range touchscreen display that has a 2340 by 1080 pixel resolution, a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio, and a 403 PPI density. The screen is a flat screen with a center hole punch out for the front facing selfie camera and a under display fingerprint sensor. The main rear camera is a dual lens camera comprised of a 50 megapixel wide angle lens with PDAF phase detection autofocus and OIS optical image stabilization and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Both lenses feature dual LED flash, pixel shift, auto HDR high dynamic range and panoramic modes. The video recording function is 4K at 30 and 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second, gyro EIS. The front facing selfie camera is comprised this way, an 8 megapixel center punch hole style camera with an audio high dynamic range. The video recording function is 1080p at 30 frames per second. The battery for the Pixel 6 is a 4614 Ma non-removable battery that is set by Google to have all-day endurance battery life. It can be charged fast using the 18 watt fast charge USB 3.0 adapter included and also has wireless and reverse charging capability. With respect to security, Google has now moved away from a fingerprint sensor in the back of the phone to the fingerprint sensor now being located underneath the display. We have no word yet as to whether or not it is an ultrasonic tech or an optical scanner type sensor. Google will also be including the Titan M2 chip in this phone for internal security, privacy, and data protection. The components for the Pixel 6 break down this way. 1. Android 12 operating system. 2. The chipset. The Tensor System On Chip. The Tensor Chip is Google's brand new first generation System On Chip or SOC they design exclusively for their Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro smartphones. 
It's designed to make these phones faster, smarter, and more secure. The Tensor chip takes the AI and machine language capabilities to the next level, pushing computational photography and the camera's prowess steps higher than their competition. One one example of this, according to The Verge, is that the Tensor SOC chip can supposedly record 4K at 30 frames per second video in high dynamic range while being capable of applying HDR net to every single frame. The AI will improve speech recognition, translation, and dictation, as well as other functions and aspects of the phone working in conjunction with the latest operating system, Android 12. Three, the CPU is an octa-core processing unit. Four, the RAM is eight gigabytes. Five, internal storage is your choice at the time of purchase of either 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage. Six, the graphics card is still unknown at this point. Seven, the audio sound. As of right now, the only information known is that the Pixel 6 will have stereo speakers. Who's and where they will be located is yet to be determined. The Pixel 6 will feature the traditional 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The connectivity for the Pixel 6 is as follows. 1. Wi-Fi 6, 802.11, A, B, G, N, A, C, A, X with Wi-Fi Direct, dual band and hotspot capabilities. 2. Bluetooth 5.0. 3. NFC near field communication capability. 4. 1 USB Type C 3.1 port. 5. No micro SD card slot. The pros. 1. Tensor SOC chip elevates the Pixel 6 to the next level within the current crop of smartphones. 2. Android 12 operating system helps to solidify the Pixel 6's longevity in the market via updates. 3. Google states the battery life is very good, although battery usage in relation to time and hours still is unknown. 4. Very good display specifications for this smartphone. And 5. Quality design concept. The cons are 1. No micro SD card slot. No storage expansion capability. And 2. Uncertainty at the moment of the speaker system, the quality type, and location of speakers within the phone. I give the Google Pixel 6 smartphone an overall rating of A for these reasons. 1. Google's idea to develop and implement their own chipset, the Tensor SOC, and pair it and synchronize it with their new upgraded operating system, Android 12, shows that they are extremely serious about providing an advanced technology smartphone product that is quite competitive with the forward innovation of cell phone technology presently in the market today. Two, the AI and machine learning capability and functionality of the Tensor SOC chipset paired with the Android 12 operating system adds a higher level of superior productivity, functionality, and serviceability to the user that allows them greater task management, workload proficiency, and overall usage in a smartphone. Three, this phone is scheduled for release to market in October of this year, 2021. Although a U.S. price point has not been set yet, it's projected to cost between $900 and $1,200 per unit. Four, I like this phone for the businessman and woman who see themselves utilizing a device of this magnitude in nature for business multitasking that can accommodate them in executing their heavy daily workload in their business niche. The Pixel 6, I believe, can more than comfortably and adequately service and meet their needs. If you found this video helpful, informative, and it provided you with effective, useful content, please click that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell and join the SRT family. I post new videos on Saturdays. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment and share your thoughts about this video. 
check out the links below in the description box. Watch this video next and check out this playlist. Until next time, I'm Roderick, your host and narrator, and this is Seek Right Tech Reviews.